Hello math hooligans this is Joe Samra here with another math video. The goal today is to see how many four letter combinations you could use using the letters in guitar. The letters are G-U-A-T-R. Remember that in this for letter combinations it does not matter what order the letters are in. Also, you cannot use the same letter more than one time. Give it a shot on your own by hitting the pause button and then we will do it together. I hope you tried it on your own. Now we're gonna do it together. The first thing you need to do is figure out how many permutations are possible with the four letters. Since there are six different letters, then there are six possibilities that can go in the first space. Once you use one of the letters, then it's time to go to the second letter. Since there were six possibilities for the first letter and you used one of them, then there are five possibilities for the second letter. Then, after you use a letter in the second space then there are four possibilities in the third space. I think you get the point right now. For the fourth letter there are three different possibilities that can be used in the fourth letter. What you have now done is figure out the permutations of four letter words. The permutations do rely on how the order is. And the permutations, or the four letters would be six times five times four times three. Oh hello there. My dad is making me do this part. After you figure out the permutations, that becomes the numerator. For the denominator, you will use how many different arrangements are possible. Since there are four letters, then there are four possibilities of what can go in the first slot. Then, there are three possibilities for the second slot. Followed by two possibilities for the third slot. And then one possibility for the last slot. So for the denominator, you would multiply 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. For the numerator, which is the permutations, we started with the number 6 because that was the total letters in the whole word. For the denominator, we start with the number 4 because we are only trying to sort out the arrangements that we have in the numerator. Good job Jude. We now have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 in the numerator, and 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in the denominator. At this point, we can do a little bit of simplification. The 4 and 4 cancels out. The 3 and 3 cancels out. And the 2 goes into 6 3 times. So we are left with the numerator of 3 times 5 and nothing in the denominator. And 3 times 5 equals 15. And that is the answer. There are 15 different combinations. I hope you enjoyed watching this through this program called Plotagon. I would like to give my son Jude a shout out for making the animation. If you want to keep improving your math skills hit this link right now to watch the other math video and keep on practicing. Trust me, keep watching these videos and your math skills will improve.